Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today is another Final Fantasy 14 video. This is a continuation of all my impressions for the jobs for Endwalker. And most of them, I think I'll try get getting them out pre 6.1, but in case uh, you come here, you know, after 6.1 patch, uh, this is going to be my impressions pre 6.1 in case there's any difference later on so first thoughts for scholar uh you know what um i think scholar is really good <laughs> i think re scholar is really good i really like um expedia of course um it was such a meme when you know they announce all the jobs all, all the new things that they had and they had really had nothing for scholar um in all honesty there's really nothing a lot there's not a lot of things that scholar needed because for the most part they already have what they need in their kit and like i don't think you need more buttons I I think this is go going to be moving forward is like one of my biggest thing. It's like adding more buttons. As you can see, my hotbar is full, but I guess I suppose two of them is are pretty unnecessary. Just like, you know, the two fairies. I, I don't need to have both of them in there since there's no difference anymore. But um, you still need to have one of them. So at least you can summon in case you die. Right, you need to resummon your fairy, and I think that's something they should completely just change. If you die, no need to resummon your fairy. Just let them come back as you revive. I think um, that really needs to be addressed. It's such an annoying thing, and this is from someone who barely plays scholar, right? Um, but. You know, our scholar, I hear it all the time. He just says, you know, um, they might as well just make this like a permanent thing. Like, once you summon it for the entirety until you change your job, just let it be there. And in case you die, when you revive, let the fairy just stay there. Because it's an annoying thing and it's like an extra step trying to get your heals out. We already died and you know obviously people need to get healed and here you are summoning for a second just i know it's just a second it's a pretty fast but still it's a, one of those like quality of life things i think um but you know that uh buttons are pro going back to the buttons thing uh that's probably going to be one of my biggest thing because you know, it's for some reason it's stuck in my head that they're trying to have less buttons, which what they did with Gunbreaker, and I was, I and I just assumed that this is going to be what they want to do moving forward. But let me tell you, <laughs> um, there are a lot more jobs with more buttons than I thought that there would be, and um, Scholar it kind of got there to a certain point, but again. Two of the buttons, uh, like maybe okay. Let's just make it one button. Are just not completely necessary. I mean, physics is something that uh, is probably debatable. I don't know if you still need to put that in your hot bar. I just put it all the way back on my shifts um, since I don't really use it. I just use Adlo and my fairy heals, you know, for AOE heals and stuff like that. Um, uh, but yeah. Anyway, other things that I think about with the scholar, uh, I, I suppose the other thing for me is that um, the fairy abilities aren't instant. Like I know you click it, it'll, it'll it should, you know, it does pop your cooldown, but the actual thing doesn't happen straight away. There's a, a lag. Obviously, the fairy needs to actually use it before you actually use it, in quotation mark. So, um, I guess that's one thing that they could ad address as well. But, uh, like I said, I haven't played Scholar since, like, what would it be? Stormblood, maybe? 
Um, you know, I actually preferred Scholar back in the Realm Reborn. Like, I was a, more of a Scholar person rather than a White Mage person. Um, be between the two, I really liked Scholar the most um, back then. Um, and that changed, you know, moving forward, of course. Um, but at the end of the day, I still like playing Scholar. It's it's not like it's a bad job it's actually a really good job and you know stratagem is really nice um debuff for um you know the rest of the party which for some reason i keep forgetting to apply <laughs> when i play scholar <laughs> um but in any case i think that's probably one of the other things that really maybe is a quality of life thing that like that it could pop it's like straight away don't need for fairy to do fairy animations before it pop i don't know um i suppose the scholars who have been or the players who have been playing scholars have had this issue and they probably don't feel like it's an issue i'm not entirely sure let me know down in the comments below would you like the fairy abilities to be instant rather than wait for your animation and before it actually pops uh, I could be wrong but let me know down in the comments below um, other than that I, I don't think scholar you know I, I know they didn't receive a lot but man Expedia is really really good and the rest of the scholars kit already was really really good oh and one more thing I think um, either flow they should just put it back to the way it was like just let it be uh, an off cooldown that you don't have to be in battle to actually use. I think having the ether flow start at the fight um, is something that you, you know, th that's that's something that uh, a lot of players would probably prefer as well. Um, you can probably keep the cooldown the same so people aren't forced to wait for the, you know, so you kind of force the people to wait for the whole minute for the next ether flow charge um and that kind of discourages like you know the majority anyway of player base to wait every minute every pull because you need your ether flows i don't know or you can probably just give the full ether flow to begin with just like how you did with sage <laughs> I know that might increase the DPS potential of Sage, be uh, sorry, with Scholar because you can waste all that with, you know, energy drain or whatever you want to do with it and then pop, you know, Ether Float Charge again. But I think um, either or, I'm not really sure how to address that. But yeah, I think uh, one or the two might be something of a good idea i'm not really sure if they're actually good ideas could be terrible ideas because i'm not a scholar main but let me know down in the comments below what you think about these stuff that i mentioned uh obviously the button bloating probably not a bigger big issue um there's probably some abilities there that you can actually take out you probably don't really need and um yeah again you know with the um whole fairy thing not popping straight away or you know the ether flow charge what do you guys think they should do regarding these abilities let me know down in the comments below um and let me know what you guys think about it uh, other than that that's all i really have to say about scholar it's a very good job i really really like it expedia is very good um you know right now i'm more into the barrier healer than the pure healers to be honest and it's like these 10 years i've gotten back to um the way how i liked it which was you know barrier healers i enjoyed barrier healers more previously and now i'm enjoying it more than pure healers once again it's like uh, i'm going back to uh, my roots so yeah anyway that's it for this video guys remember to click like and subscribe if you haven't already it does help the channel i would really appreciate it if you shared this video as well and follow me on twitter and on facebook at munchkins gaming this is munchkins logging off thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next level